And an important point, up to 80% of women by the age of 60 will have contracted this virus, HPV. But dealing with an STD such as HPV is still often hard to do. Even though it is so common, some people still have trouble with the social stigma that comes with it. Not to mention, you have to break the news to a prospective new partner. This is exactly what happened to our next guest, Adina. When I was 20 years old, I received a phone call from an ex-boyfriend. He said that he had just been diagnosed with genital warts. I felt sick to my stomach because all I could see was that high school sex ed slide of this horribly wart-covered genitalia. The doctor came in and he said that the results had shown that I did have HPV. I was really upset. I started shouting and crying. I was angry and I was sad because I felt like I was truly damaged good. What does this mean for my future? Have I lost the right to find true love and have a baby? I felt that if I could survive this and get through it, it was my duty to do something to help other women like me. I actually learned that Adina had HPV on our very first date. Before I started dating him, I wanted to know if the HPV was still in my body. So I requested a follow-up colposcopy. They found no traces of HPV-infected cells. I am willing to put my own reputation on the line by saying, yes, I was diagnosed with cervical HPV. And it doesn't mean that I'm irresponsible, and it doesn't mean that I'm uneducated, and it doesn't mean that I'm not a successful, good person. There is life after HPV. And Lisa, Dina's story is so common because HPV is common. It's very common, especially since it doesn't have symptoms, and we don't really know how it works. It can come and it can go, so that's why you want to be retested. But, but still, there's that social stigma that I caught an STD. But again, when half of men and half of women who are sexually active have this virus, it's an STD, but if, if everyone on the street, one of two has it, there shouldn't be the social stigma, but there still is with a lot of women. Right. I have women, when I tell them the diagnosis, just devastated. They're crying on the phone, and I try and tell them, Really, this is, this is something that, you know, we can handle. But I have to explain to them that you could have gotten this with your very first partner. Um, this does it. You could have used condoms because condoms, as great as they are for STDs, aren't 100%. Nothing's 100%. So this really should have no reflection on the individual. It's just something that happened, and it's great that we actually have parameters to deal with it. But it sounds like your own immune system can actually... Right. Rid, rid your body of it at some point. If, if she retested works. herself and there was no evidence of. But a lot <clears> of women virus. will think people think that their, um, their you know, morals aren't good or that they have lots of right. partners or things like that. And that's not the case. You and can get that why, from your first partner. And that's partner. why Adina is so passionate is. about it because thank you, Adina and Jose, for being here. You. You know, first of all, Jose, when you found out you were really supportive, you did some research and you realized that. Okay, so you have HPV. That doesn't make you a bad person. A lot of people do, and I still care about you. 